Okay. There we go. Well, guys, uh, you know, hey, thanks for joining in. This is our first one of the winter session here. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. We have a really good one to go to do. Uh, but first, I got to show you guys something I'm really proud of. You know, I think it's you know, probably one of the best pieces ever done. And uh, I just want to pass it along to you guys that this uh, this piece wow. here by uh, our friend Lynette there, Lynette Hoy, Aww. won a nice honorable mention in a, in a show. Just gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, That's she did. Bad. And she did it all by herself with no help Lynette. from me at all. I didn't even <laughs> look at it. I mean, if you guys want a nice calendar, you know, this girl has done some pretty nice work in here. This is a nice calendar she's done. So, um, <laughs> you know, it's nice. It's really nice. And I'm, you know, so proud of her. Congratulations, Lynette. Marvelous. Now, the rest of you guys get off the stick, okay? Because she just got kicked <laughs> off. She's Because she did so well, she's getting kicked off the island, okay? So and then we're looking of... for other people to kick off now because that's too good. Who are we kicking off? We? You guys are. We're kicking you off, guys. Kicking you off, Lynette. Congratulations. Oh, come on. The, the problem with this, uh, all of your students is they're great and they're not exhibiting and stuff. That is so their get, problem. Get with it. It. You know, you know, they're slackers. They are. Slackers. If they did, they'd be slackers. <laughs> you guys should be taking home the money. <laughs> all right. So uh, that's what we're, oh, well, I, anyway, that was something nice. I'm glad uh, Lynette did that, got in there and did, did well. And, you know, you know, I will not see any of that check she's giving. It's like a six figure <laughs> check she's won. We, we get and, nothing. Uh, we get, get the, nothing we get the little her. award with the ribbon and that's but it. I, <laughs> six <laughs> figures, I, a lot of zeros. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of zeros. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but uh, that's really great. And, you know, I want the rest of you guys to do the same. You know, just try to find something to to enter and and get them in there. Uh, you know, that's all we can do. Uh, but now uh, let's get busy. Let's start up the new the new year right. Uh, of course, we're gonna do some water because. I kind of get stuck on water, and we got a nice little swan here. Because of me, I'm swans. Take care of swans. Um, this is a really great shot. Uh, this is by an Australian girl down um, down under, uh, Robin uh, Lovelace, uh, and uh, Lovelace, I think. Yeah, and uh, this is just you know was a great shot of hers, and uh, she lets us paint them. Uh, so we are going to have some fun with it. Let me pull it up. See, I've done everything else right today, but I just thinking right now, did I transfer that over? Did I did, did. Oh gosh. Well, it wasn't for, for the sound hiccup at the beginning. I, so far I'd be doing really, really well. Okay. Nice. I love that blue. Do you love that blue back there? Yes. You know, the, that's really beautiful. Uh, that with uh, the striking brightness of this uh, this swan and its ruffled feathers, kind of reminds me of doing the the flamingo we did uh, before Christmas. You know that kind of strong lighting with good strong shadows. Uh, and so this should be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, yeah, we got some swans in the back, right? But if you look at those guys. If we can if you could do each one of those guys in like five or six strokes, you know, I'll be happy. Okay, I'll be happy if you guys can do that. I might take seven, but I'm look, you know, you know, let's let's keep the numbers down back there because we're gonna lose all of our strokes on this guy in the front. And that's part of the part of the deal is when you're doing these things is really when you, you make your dominance dominant by using all your strokes there and everything else just has to lay back there and, uh, you know, be sub subdominant to it. And, um, that's, that's what we're going to work on. 
can really get this pop this pop this uh swan sliding here and then really just try to keep some guys other guys subtle you know and if we don't have time i'm going to spend most of the time on him and if uh you know if things come get tight at the end uh you know i'll do one or two of these swans over here and then we'll uh you know you guys can put in the rest later but you can see they're 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 about the same. You do one, you can do, just go on to the next one. It's not like a big giant color jump or anything we have to worry about. Okay. You know, Let's well, see. um hey J hey Jim, it's Anne Marie. Hi. Um Hi Anne Marie, how you feeling? Uh, I'm gonna be observing tonight. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but I'm, I'm I'm okay. But you know, when I looked at this photo. I mean, obviously, our friend in the foreground is the center of interest, and his, his the light is just so beautiful, and the reflection and everything. But I'm wondering if the photo the photographer this must have been a with some sort of a long lens because the light is so different between him and those swans in the background. You think it was I, computer um, editing? It might have been computer. Maybe, but it's stunning. Anyway regardless yeah so. well yeah well she's an artist and so she might have you know did that or it could have been a long lens you know yeah i usually when it, this was put up on a site and they usually when they put them up there they don't really you know do any work to them we just usually throw your own throw it up there and let right. people do what they want with it so i wouldn't right. i would not expect her to have done anything but if she did she did it's a great, it's really nice. Um, it's just beautiful, yeah. Yeah, but let's see if we can make it better. we got, there's little rooms, there's room here to grow on this one. Uh, yeah, he's really beautiful. He's off to the center already. You know, thanks to me, I, I did some of this work. I'll take, you know, say I did it. You know, I, I moved him I moved him off center. He was a little bit more room there, so I cropped in that side a little bit. Um, him size wise, he could go a little bit bigger if you wanted, you know, and, uh, he'd be fine too. You know, that's the thing is I keep him where he is on the bottom, but if I'm going to make him bigger, I was thinking if he, he'll probably just get bigger naturally too. I mean, some of these times when you start putting in these feathers like that, they just grow. Um, and that's what you want. I don't, it's not a big thing. It's good. It's good that you want to take it. You really Flick, flick that brush at the end when you get going like that. So I'm going to have to meet you, you all. You have to unmute yourself if you guys want to talk to me. Sorry, a little bit of backbeat going on. Um, no big deal. Uh, but that's what thing is, is, you know, if you, you get this head, head in the right spot, uh, that's, all, that's pretty simple. And then these guys, you know, just really just letting that brush just flick out of here, you know, go. That's what you want. You want to flick that brush at the end and then at the beginning, you know, grab it and just, you know, if you put those things in uh, the way they're meant to be going, I mean, if you put them in with authority and uh, that white, that's all you have to do is put that white in like you mean it. And um, that's that's the pain. That's is the painting, and that's going to be pretty simple. You know, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, just how I'm going to do it, and we're we'll, going to have some fun. Um, the back guys, yeah, very blue, a lot of blue in them. Now, whatever blue we are using here goes into these guys pretty heavily. You know, they're just going to gray them down. Value wise, you can see how value that that blue is back there. Then that's down here, probably close to a six or seven there you know it's really close you know and even his his uh shadows were pretty dark too they were pretty much in this area too maybe they could even be sevens but the difference is you know there you know him being in the sun and stuff he's gonna have cooler shadows warm days cool shadows uh cloudy days warm shadows uh, but so we're going to have cool shadows going over this warm part of the bird, though. 
So you get it's just gonna it's gonna be grayed down a little bit, but it's still gonna be really nice. So even all these areas in here are gonna have a little bit of blue in them, blue gray and stuff. Probably a lot of either uh, blue and uh, I would say it's a, it's a warm red to use down there because it's grayed out here a little bit. So it's probably gonna be like uh, uh, terra rosa or, or uh, Venetian type thing. Or I got I got uh, oxide red. I'll be using probably. Um, let's see. Get rid of this. Okay. Um, so I said, yeah, you could make this guy bigger, but I would try to keep 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 the bottom area where he's floating in there. Good thing about sparkles and uh, you know, uh, in the water and stuff, less is more. Really, less is more on those guys. You hit just a few of them, you know. Don't get too sparkly back in here. Don't put too many back there. Really just uh, hit a couple back in here, back, back. I tell you, they go a long ways, all right? They really go a long ways and can really just, you know, you know, keep them. They mostly they're going to be up front. Hardly any in the back, but maybe one or two. That's about it. And just if we do put a couple more in there, we're just going to be using it to to guide, make sure that this thing comes around, right? That's all you have to use it for. Um, let's see. Uh, the head's good. The body's good. Really nice darks going on in here, too. These darks back in here. So when we paint this, you know, we're going to take and, you know, toner canvas. You know, we'll draw, it, draw this guy out. I'm not going to worry about these guys too much. Uh I think I'm going to worry more about doing uh, the water itself and then putting these guys in afterwards, you know, just pretty much, you know, you know, make sure I got this stuff in there and then erase these guys out a little bit. Uh, so that will help because that will get that blue that's already in here into these guys immediately. Right. And so, we won't, it would just be just, you know, a little bit of cleanup and stuff like that. Most of it, big shapes, big, simple shapes that, you know, all just kind of mush in together. You know, one, one goes into one and keeps going and that's all it is. It's really, you know, I, when I get painting on these things, uh, a lot of times I'll be able to go from one bird to the next, to the next, uh, without doing grabbing too much more paint it's always going to be you know basically i'm going to look for the brightest areas get those guys in and let my paint my brush get polluted with the color that's there you know so it's not so bright and then i'll go and do these other ones and just kind of check myself down and stuff to see which which is the next one to do so it's that simple uh coolest thing about this painting and stuff i think you're going to find it is the cools against the warms now you know you got a lot of warm going on in this guy's head it looks a lot dirtier than than he is you know so that's going to get that you're going to have to find these warms in here this warm temperature right here these these this this reds and oranges right in these these little uh cooler against some of these cooler cooler shadows that's the gorgeous stuff. That's that's what makes this so pretty. And that's what we want to do is get that that warm here against the coolness of these le these uh, feathers and those coolers of this area here. It's the same for the water, though. That's the thing is look at it, the water. Because of this water, you got these warm areas in the water. This underneath here, you can see it. That has a lot of red in it. That's the whole difference. That's one of the biggest things I see people missing when they do water. They miss the warm in the water. Even though you got a lot of blue there, you know, that goes across here. But right in here, all the way down, most of these darker areas have a lot of red in them. Um, and that's going to be probably just that uh, oxide red light or uh, Venetian or something like that mixed in with a color to get that that warm and you know ink can probably you know work it back into these guys going back a little bit too and that really help drive the eye around the painting 
Okay. Anything else I want to talk about? Hmm. No, I'm pretty good. Pretty happy. I think one of the things you're going to find on this one to get all this kind of looking uh, blue and stuff like this, you have to go dark. You have to start with your darks underneath to be able to get that blue on top and get that that texture, that feel of a of a, of the stroke under behind it. Look for how to break these things down into strokes and in areas and stuff. I can see big, big ass stroke here coming from this back end, uh, you know, and same here, you know, this stuff being broken down into simple strokes. Um, and that's where the thing is, just keeping it simple because it gets, it's going to get complicated very quickly. So any questions? I thought I did a really nice job on that one, too. So, um, okay. Let's go on and let's go find my, see if I'm still hooked up. Yes, I'm still hooked up. I think I could go there, replace spotlight. Colors. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You can see my white this time. Look at that. Um. I did not even put out new colors from uh, from today. One second. You know, hurry up and wait, right? Basically, I'm going to be going, hey, you like my box? This is where I, my, my kit came home on set from Saturday's workshop and have not opened it up except for a few things. Definitely be using some a little bit of cat orange. I think I got enough out, but I'm going to put some more out. So cat orange, cat red light. Be great. This one crimson, probably. Cat yellow, definitely. Yellow ochre, yes, I'll take it. White, definitely titanium white be good. Uh, even even uh, you know, would also uh, come up with white would be a good one to have, too. I mean, that could work. Blue, definitely blue. And some phalo green. Got some cleaner, clean paint just in case. Uh, phalo green. Uh, I'm going to grab some. Make sure nothing tips over in there. It just leaks all over my bag. I hate that when that happens. Uh, phalo green. You know, I cheat sometimes. I've been using a lot of phalo green a lot. And it is so doggone strong. Um, I'm using this uh, Van Gogh phalo green. I can get it a big too. It was only like a couple bucks. And uh, it's by, it's by uh, Rembrandt too, but it's their cheap student grade. So I do that every once in a while. I'll go to the student grade section and uh, get, you know, some paints like ochre and, uh, you know, burnt sienna, burnt umber. You know, they're just basically dirt. Uh, and uh, the only thing, the only good, only colors I really, you got to have, you know, really strong are your cad yellows and your cad reds and your cad orange if you want cad orange. Uh well, King's Blue might be good to have out too. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I got it. I got it. Yeah, King's Blue. Okay, I'm gonna put some King's Blue out. Okay, right, I'll go through my colors real quick for you guys. Sorry about that. But I'll give you guys time to catch up. Right? Like what the big tomato said to the little one, right? Catch up. Okay, so I got titanium white. I got cad yellow light, cad red light, cad orange. Uh, this yellow here, this is a yellow D. Uh, I asked for cad yellow or cad orange, and Blix decided they weren't going to send me Rembrandt, and they were going to send me something else in, in place of it. And uh, I don't know, they must have been out of it, but they didn't tell me anything, and they never reversed me. 
embarrass me about it. Anyway, so that's a light. So in case I run out, I can use that. It's just a little uh, funkier, but it's okay. You know, it's kind of make kind of different. I can play with it. Um, and then see our oxide red, uh, lizard and crimson, or uh, rose matter deep if you're Rembrandt. Uh, cobalt blue hue, like I said, phthalo green, uh, blue green or green blue. Um, I think uh, this is oxide red, transparent oxide red up there. That was left over from today when I was painting that dog. Uh, this is King's Blue. This has been on the laying up there for a week or so. That's carmine. Uh, and this is just uh, some ochre, yellow ochre. Okay, uh, regular things. I'll be using my paint eraser there. I'll be using uh, big brushes to do the job. I even have these new special Lista brushes that I've gotten from Lista. You know, these are some other special ones just like this, but just like a half size down. You never know. Sometimes you can see I use them. They're okay. This one's a little bit nicer. Look at that. That's so sharp. These guys knock off some knees, but not quite as good. Um, of course, I'm going to be having some some uh, bristle brushes, and I will be using some synthetics, regular synthetics on this one, too. Uh, definitely, um, I would say, you know, some of those sharp edges on this guy. You know, when you start getting some of these sharp, sharp edges, that's a good time to use a brush. Uh, synthetic a bristle we can do all pretty much all this kind of stuff here just doing this kind of roughed up stuff um and it will lay down more paint than a synthetic so sometimes like even when when you, i do i'll do these little areas i'll put it in with a synthetic and then i'll come back over with a, a bristle because bristle somehow just lays down more paint even though it doesn't seem like it lays down much but it does so it can work. That doesn't work. But these back, these little teeny things, those are definitely marks of a synthetic. This is a nice synthetic mold. Almost that stuff is. This stuff back here might be really nice for a bristle brush because it would be nice soft. Uh, and give me some distance uh, with edges and uh, push everything back quickly. We'll talk about that when we get there, right? And if you guys have any questions, let me know. All right, colors. Let's get mixing. Class is almost over. <laughs> okay, lots of blues, a lot of blue greenish. It's kind of a blue greenish color. So um, we're going to go with that. We're going to make a, a blue green. So we're going to start off with this phthalo uh, green. Uh, and then I'm going to go with blue into it. And I'm not going to leave it really, I'm make, probably going to need a little bit bigger pile than what I was going to lay down here. So I'm just hedge my bet and say I can go with a little bit bigger, bigger pile. That's pretty good. That's good on the blue side. I like to have one on the green side too. Shouldn't take too much. The thing about using that uh, student grade phthalo green, it's quite, not quite as, uh, as strong as the other one little little thing a lot cheaper but um you know you get a lot of it and that's the thing about fatal green it's just such a can be can be a strong color you get all over the thing place right so it's nice to uh have something like that so there's these two colors now i need definitely need some warms in here these warm darks i see in the back and then the back tails and the shadows here. So I'm gonna go here, go back to blue. I'm gonna stay with the blue. I do a lot of green, so I'm getting a little tired of using, pulling green out for everything. So I'm gonna be using uh, oxide red and uh, light and blue. This will make a nice color, really a lot of, uh, that oxide red was really strong as just like kicked the heck out of my blue. So I'm gonna just go back here. 
add blue to this one. So I have a blue one. Okay, so I have a blue one, a red one. That's almost a little. Okay, so just now, since I was trying to fix it, made it a little bit too not red enough. But that'll help. These guys break down. Also, we'll do all the background. Definitely, I'll be done. I'll be done with that in no time. I need to work in the foreground now. I'm thinking about the foreground colors. Uh, there is, like I was talking about, this this warm reddish uh, green that's in here that goes in the into these waves, and that is. I want to do two little two little plays to see which one's going to work out best. One is definitely oxide red and phthalo green. When these guys mix together well, this becomes a really beautiful warm green. And that can get that's pretty really, really close. Probably a little bit more green would have done it. Maybe I don't have to do the red green. But who knows? So I'll just leave this one on the reds. Yes, on the green side. And that one on the red side. I think these guys with just enough white might do it. All right. I'm going to stay there. I don't think I, I can use, I'm pretty sure I can use that. Um, all right. I'm going to get to the few colors. I want to get to this head of him, get his colors in. Uh, He's definitely got some red in him. He's got a little green in him. A couple of ways I could play it. I could say a little bit of green. And uh, I could go with cat orange in here. All right? I think, you know, that you can see it just, I'm, I'm on the yellow side against that. So that tells me, yeah, just it's good. But if I use uh, just a touch of cat red into that, I'll probably come closer to it. A little more green to gray it out. But a little bit more cat red into that color to, to really get it. Yeah, that, and then we hit it with white, it should go right there. That's a good, that's good. Okay, let me do a couple other colors. Like I said, I'm gonna do cad orange. Look, look at this beak, it's almost pure. You know, it's basically cad orange and cad red to get together, you get this beak. So, it, all right, so we're not gonna go too far with that. But I was gonna put out cad orange and uh, add a little bit of green again to it, not like that. Just uh, not like that, but it just did that. Uh, a little more on the green side, and then I'm gonna put ochre out. I'm doing. I'm working on uh, his head still, but I'm working on these feathers back in here too. So I'm gonna do a little bit of color-wise thinking about colors, because I think all my blues and everything here, I'm bringing those down way down. I'm going to get all this stuff, all of all of his things out of those blues. Jim, can you just go yeah. back toward the last two you're doing? Okay, these two and these ones. Uh, these are just this is just cad orange with just a little bit of red into into it. And this is a little bit of red, more cad red with a little bit of orange into it. Those are like just for the beak, you know, little things. Not nothing, no white. These guys, this is cat orange with just a little bit of phthalo green uh, in, into it. We started with that over there, but we added cat red to it. And then we got a nice mix. That's going to be gorgeous. Uh, this, I use ochre. This is just ochre and a little cat orange mixed in. Uh, I'm going to take all these colors down and value-wise, look for this head. He's probably right around a five or a six. Still pretty dark. So I think this, 
this might have to change too. It looks like that white really graded out a little bit. Oh, not bad, really. I mean, it's really close. It's just probably when you come down here with enough white into this color, you know, we that's a nice it's a nice base tone. Um, but we'll probably take and split this pile and uh, add a little red to it, add a little orange yellow to it, just to get a few extra little. You know, it, it's it's just a nice feature. This this color too is going to end up back in here too. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. I'm going to add take. I took this. Okay, so this color again was cad red and cad orange and phthalo green. Um, coming down, I added white to make it like a six. This is probably even brighter though. This could be. Yes, yeah, it might be five, but it's really a six. Okay, um, and then I'm just adding, uh, gonna come over here and add, I want, I need some warmth, a little bit more richness to it. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more cab red to it on this side, rich, rich colors. But that can come in here and that's gonna get into this head here. And then I'm gonna over here, I'm gonna add cad yellow to it. Just to have some play, that should do it. That should be enough to get me all the way in here. Even though it's, it doesn't feel right at this point, it will at the end. I'm going to knock these guys down in the same way. Just a little bit of white. Save the top part. Just bring it down. Just grab a piece of it. Put enough white into it, probably to get it to... Value-wise, I would say probably four. So it's going to have a lot of white into it. But these are nice, rich colors. Uh, and, you know, they'll hold up. See, even if that you squint real hard, you can still see time this goes grazed. It's getting right there. It's probably right close to a four. But um, well, let's see what this orange does a little bit. This ochreish orange does should get me a little dead yeah that should hit really well this might go into this area too you know but the thing is uh i don't need a ton of paint on this one on, on the head and, and the leaves and things like that uh, you know so this paint here should do a pretty good job okay so right there is three quarters of this bird except for the white, which is basically got to come out of one of these guys. Uh, it's going to, I'm going to, you know, work that. But before that, let's get back to the water. And that's all up here again. I just wanted to get that, get you guys going to make sure you had room for, for that. I'm going to take these piles, each one of these piles, break them down into halves and if you don't have room you can do it just you know it, you don't have to leave any room in between these piles if you don't have, not have enough room on your palette i just do it to make it simpler for you guys to read I'm, that's me i'm always taking these guys okay i'm just going to put enough white in into this blue green up here Let's see if I can get here. Okay, value-wise, I'm really, really close. But it is on the blue, even that, that amount of green on it, um, took it to a, yeah, took it over. It could be a little bit cooler. Same with this one. This is a definitely one on the green side. It might not even get to play in here if I don't fix it. Uh, same with these guys, it's gonna be purple. Just a little bit of white to get them to the same value. Trying to keep them as rich as possible so you don't over white them out. This blue, there we go. Here's our winner. That blue, when I knock this blue down and this red down, purple down, 
that's going to do all this work here. This is going to do all the work back in here. It's a cool, it's a cooler blue than against these anything with green in it, which is uh, going to really help stand out. This is uh, what red was this? Halo green and oxide red, probably. And see, it looks red there. Come down to here, and all of a sudden. The green took over and that's still like i said it's a not a it's a cheap cheaper student grade version so that tells you shows you how strong you don't need a great color all the time hopefully you know color color fast it should still be good you know years from now we hope Okay, so I'm just going to mix this one up too, a little green. Okay, back to here, these guys. Definitely, I'm going to put more blue into each one of these guys. i got to get this cooled off. So I'm going to put a lot more blue into this one. And instead of using white, I'm going to do definitely a lot more blue into that one. That green will be hard to kill. That's still always going to show up. Okay. How is that color wise? Value, not bad. Just a little bit dark. Instead of using white, I'll use King's Blue and see if I can lighten it up with some King's Blue instead of using a warm white, which is titanium white. Uh, if I use a cool blue, white, in place of that, I might be able to get it really close that's not bad i'm gonna take a piece of it and lighten it up because i'll use up all my king's blue right off the bat because that's it's not a strong color it's just you know almost a filler color that works good there i'm gonna do the same here just king's blue you a piece of this green and we should be good i'm gonna take a piece of these guys and bring them down here all my purples and my blues don't need that much either of them just a little bit because they're gonna get whited out basically i'm gonna take these purples here keep these guys together blues purples and i'm gonna take these guys all down we do my and this this should finish it off this should be pretty much due uh, Get me everything. It's just going to be big gobs of white paint underneath each one of these guys. And I'm just going to use a little bit of a uh, little bit of these colors here. Because uh, I want to get to keep, keep these guys, as you can tell, these, these uh, feathers are pretty high key. So if I put, put the white and mix just a little bit into the white, I'll get a cleaner color. And I won't use up all my white. Let me get these guys just a little bit more. Should be nice. Should be should turn out really good. Also clean your knife. You know, I always clean my knife in between these colors. A nice orange too, I should do. I think these two are pretty close to them. They're not gonna do anything. This is oak that uh Cad yellow added to the cad red, cad orange, green. So I'm going to leave it pretty high key. That could definitely be in there. Let's just give it a little bit bigger pile. This one just add just a little bit of red to from this red side. This is more of pinkish. It's going to be coralish color, white. Okay, there we go. That might be, yeah, you know, that's the thing about photos is when you they take these great shots and stuff, everything gets burned out. So, you know, it's okay to go a step darker than what you see there. Sometimes you, there's nothing there uh, in JPEGs when they're all finished. You know, you get them into Photoshop, there's nothing you can do because 
they're kind of like what they call cooked. You know, they already have all their whites and darks, you know, in there, and they don't really change. You can lighten, but you're not going to get any color. Uh, or you can darken, and you can't, but you're not going to see the color. So that's always a little weird. Uh, Jim, what was the last color you just mixed just before this blue one? That one? Um, yeah. I just took it from this yellow or orange we made up here. This is ochre and orange, and this is with white, and I just brought it down way down. And, uh, you know, I don't think I need to tell you anything anymore. <laughs> I think we're going to just snub you from now on. Oh, you know, I've got to watch your head. You want to watch your head getting too big on us. I'm trying to inspire everybody to get in there. I almost didn't do it. And I thought, well, why don't I take it anyway? So I can't. Yes, yeah, so you took the money and ran. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Uh, good for you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, no worries. Hey, I'm adding, just going to do this one. This one's just on the blue-green side, so I'm just adding just a touch more green to it to make sure it's different from that one. I don't know where I'll use these guys. These guys, you know, might come in the back, back some of these leaves and stuff, you know. They might even end up back in here. You know, some of this blue, this blue here could probably doesn't have to be quite that. You know, that's what you're going to find out. Is you're like, okay, well, that's a, it's blue, but it's really purple. So one of these guys is probably going to be perfect for that. But I'm going to take these guys all the way up. and Because I figure these guys are going to pretty much okay, get rid of what's on my knife. Should have cleaned my knife, but sometimes I uh, sometimes I hold these things like this. And, uh, okay. Not bad. A little light, but not bad. That's the one with the red in it. This is a oxide red and blue. And it says just a little more. I think that one has more red in it. Maybe not. Maybe I could be wrong. That's the blue one. Okay. This is the red one, which is going to be probably purple. Like you guys can see it, but I'm not cutting everybody off. There you go. That mixed with these yellow oranges should work out really good. So let me mix up just a little bit more of that. I love that. I think that's going to be really good. You know, Lisa, I'm going to put them over here to, to save them because sometimes as, as I get going, my big brush, I'll just, you know, kind of get in here and paint these piles a little bit too much. So I want to save a little bit of that good stuff. So simple painting. We're not going to go too... I think a lot of this stuff's going to come out really nice, really quickly. Um, and it's a lot of it's just nice, simple brushwork. And that'll be fun to show. Um, up here we have just blue and phalo green. This is on the blue, very blue side. You can see it coming down with white. And then I brought it over here and added more white to it. Um, here's, it's on the green side, not huge. We had to fix it because it's really not that much green in here. There might, you know, in the little areas in here, there is, and that's that'll do it. That green pushed against that color, the green will show through. Um, here, just a little more white, and then brought it down, and I added a little more green into it down when I got into this high, the high uh, end colors. Uh, this one is blue and uh, oxide red, or if that could be uh, blue and uh, Venetian or Terra Rosa, but it makes this really warm red brown, red, you know, reddish brown color. But when you bring it down with white, you can see the purple shoots through it. And I brought it over here and uh, added white to it again. Here's on the blue side of that with more blue in it. And then over here, we brought, brought some more white to it. Over here, this is green and phalo, uh, uh, phalo green and uh, oxide red. Mix this and just a little bit of white. I never didn't take these guys down. I wonder why I didn't take these guys down. Probably would have got that color if I would have done it right. Then I just add white. This should be a nice gray. Sometimes you need a gray. 
all that water on that dog I did was this color. Oxide red and green mixes together. And then a lot of richness. Try to keep it rich. I don't know. I think I can get that in here. So uh, that's why I'm putting it. Doing it. Just a little more red to show through. Perfect mix. Got a beautiful warm gray, but I want to get the red just to show. Come on, really close. There we go. I'm just going to either do it. I'll do it. Go on with that. Go on with that. That's good. It was too light yet. I really didn't take those guys down too much. I didn't think I was going to use them. Oh, well, everything else is down. Uh, over here, this is for the neck of the, of the swan and probably for some of these back feathers. Uh, this is a phthalo green, just a cad orange, cad red mix. Really just a little bit of phthalo green, you know, turns it over. And I added white to it, came down this kind of putty color, um, which is good, but then I split that pile. And over here, I added cad red to a pot piece of it, that pile. And over here, I added cat yellow to that pot. Just, you know, takes that thing. All these colors are guaranteed to work together. You can't beat that. Cat, red, cat orange, cat red, just uh, two mixes here. One on the orange side, one on the red side. This is basically for the beak, the little beak area. If it needs to go darker, I'll add some alizarin to it to, to cool it off, but not much. Um Here's just cat orange, a little phthalo green again. Um, just a little bit of phthalo green, and then I'm white. I figured, you know, I wanted to get it in here. It's probably just a touch too much, you know. Where's that white? I never, you know, just to gray it out to get it in there. Just a little bit. And then this is on the yellow side. This is ochre and cat orange mixed together with white. And then white. Uh, this, these two colors down in here, if you don't have them, again, came from the phthalo green and oxide red mixes we did up here. I just did never did a mid tone to really, you know, well, number probably around number five mid tone would have been nice to have for this thing. Um, so that's why I thought I'd better do it. Okay. Whew. Any questions? Uh, do you think it would a uh, phalo green and a uh, an alzheim crimson would fit in here? Because well, I mixed that up, and it looks like what you have at the very end on the right at the top over there. Yeah, I'm sure it would. I was thinking, you know, it's a little sweeter, you know, but it could definitely that color. You know, I would definitely throw it in there since we have our big award winner telling us to do it. I would suggest <laughs> throw it in the it's air. the lowest, by the way, it's the lowest award you could make. Merit. <laughs> hey, it's a start. So I, you know, I when I started painting, yeah, I was only getting merits. I wasn't getting anything else. I was just getting merits, merits, merits. And then all of a sudden, okay, you get a you get a third place, fourth, you know, and then uh, you know, then you start you work your way up. That's all you do. Nothing to you it. Know. Easy peasy. It is. You just got to figure out the cheapest judge to bribe. That's all you got to do. Um, that's all it is. It's just, that's all I do. Anyway, <laughs> let me bring this guy. Let's bring you guys back in for this one. I got it up on my big monitor, but I will keep you guys going. Get all my cameras rolling here and I'll bring you back in a second. Well, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun one. I think, uh, you know, we'll see how far we can get. I'm pretty sure we can get a really great block in done. I'm pretty sure, you know, you guys, you know, it should be too too tough. His drawing's not too bad. Think of this shape. Look at that shape. That's a, that, that big shape. That's the thing. Get that shape. Get the tail coming off it. Get the head to come off it. 
it shouldn't take too much. I'm going to tone mine with a red, probably a oxide red. Uh, why? Because of the, well, the coolness of this painting. Um, and I, if I use a anything with too much yellow in it or orange or something like that in it, uh, it's going to kill the blue. It's going to gray it out. So a red will make plays well much better with it. I mean, yeah, you can use blue if you wanted to. Um, oil, too. Let's get some oil here. I mean, even if you wanted to use like uh, burn umber, might be good. My burn umber might be good, but it's still going to gray out your blues a lot. So I go with the red because I think I can get, I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to, you know, probably not going to put it out too thick anyway. So. So, I'm just going to tone my canvas before I draw it in. Think about that one third at the bottom. You know, one third of this painting right in here. Don't want, I want that thing right about here. You know, so anything underneath it can go dark. There we go. There we go. And like I said, that shape, you know, just opens up just a little bit of a thing. I can get it a mm, little big, aren't I? I'm going to rock it. Whoop, knock that down. Okay, bring that back down. Sometimes I just get carried away. Okay, let's yeah, I gotta get the neck in here too. I gotta, you know, I gotta stop it right here. Gotta be right there. I wanna stop. I don't wanna so I gotta so I'm gonna work from this spot here and then work my way back to to where that that those feathers are and the kink in the neck is coming out right into here. Splash right here. It'd be good to have that splash really show up. So oh. Might even push everything back just a hair more. Okay, head. Okay, well, here's the, the back of the back end. I can always figure that out. Okay, that, and then there's that, the other side. And that's the ribbing from the other side going in here. That's not bad color. Look at that red that's coming out of there. That's really close to what's the value of, uh, you know, what's back in here. So sometimes you get lucky and you don't have to do too much work. But uh, this is why I was going to use that uh, oxide red and blue mix anyway. Because I was saying this is where I was thinking it was going to go. Um, but here's the leg part of the thing. I got to end this. I gotta be done way back here. I can't can't go very far. That's about right. Right in there, right in there. Right there. That's gonna be the end of the tail. So I got a little bit more room back in here. So I can always scooch these guys back. Okay, so this goes up here. That says the head has to be right even with that. So I gotta end that head right there. So And for it to touch and stuff, it has to be right there and in here. Okay. Maybe I got to look at that a little bit better. There's room in there. Maybe I'm just making a tattoo. I think sometimes I need to do that. Yeah. 
I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay. Okay, so like that. Let me. One of the things when I did that flamingo, you guys, from Christmas. Yeah, I didn't really dive into the the feathers really hard hard as I probably needed to. You know, counting them out, and things like that. So they were got a little little crazy there at the end, figuring it out. So. If anything, this is where I'd probably take probably take the most time to make sure I had this this area here. Then, okay, three feathers right here. One goes smaller, and then one back in here. Okay, and then back in here is that stuff. I'm not too worried about that kind of stuff, but like the, 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 these kind of piano key type things here, I want to make sure that I get those guys designed right. Otherwise, you know, I like to just go with it. Don't worry too much. This would be really nice. Oh, when I was working today, I was also working on that, that, that dog painting I saw earlier. I was working on a really, I say crappy, crappy uh, canvas. I mean, it was something really cheap and stuff, but didn't have any texture, so. It almost acted like one of these guys. So it wasn't, I mean, yeah, it was crappy because uh, the paint went stick. You just kind of move, up, move around a little bit. So you have to be even more gentle than I'm used to being gentle. Um, so, um, but it was interesting. Okay. So I'm going to tone this, get this, finish my toning. Worry too much. Let me bring you guys in too. Let me bring you guys in on this one. See how much better that is. Sorry, first first one of the season, right? You guys will give me a little bit of room. I might have to take this head up a little bit. Get rid of that white. Okay. Nice shit. Rob, I want to end it right about there. Full, full body, full wing. Just gonna wet my guy with just some oil here and just pull off the rest of it. Not too much oil, just make sure it's just enough to pull, uh, pull off here. You know, what I, yeah, that's what I didn't do. I didn't have the neck really tucked in behind that feather. So it should have been, would have been, that's much better. Closer at least. Good. Make sure I get the right width height. One little spot here. Okay. Now, these guys back in here. 
design wise. I'm not going to worry about them. I don't think, even if I rub them out anymore like this, to tell you where they are. By the time I get to them, they're not going to be any worth it. Okay. So he's going to come all the way over here. And I just, just really just always keep checking that layout, making sure that you're going to be, you're not having, losing anything to, to go too far off. Or my, see, I'm working at an angle. So everything, if I come here and then I come here, I go, oh, shit, it's stretched out. So I got to get in front of it for a second. Well, let's try that. I can always fix it's oil. All right, I'm going to start off with my darker color, brown, warmer ones here. This is oxide red and phthalo green. And uh, I want to get that straight hard as I can. It's going to be great to have it on the red side. That was supposed to be on the red side. Didn't really, you know. Could be just a little stronger in here, so I'm gonna push the red a little bit more in there, which is easy. I have a lot of it out from the toning the canvas, so I just reach over and grab a bunch and shove it in here. So leave it on the red side here. I'm gonna run my brush out with this stuff and make sure you know get it in here. It's definitely on the red side right into here, right into that, that tail, that tail, if you want to, like, if you had phalo green and alizarin, if you did that, you'd be brilliant, and you put it underneath this back, back tail, because it makes beautiful purple too, red, purple, alizarin on the one side, a little more blue, so this front edge, Keeping that on the warm red side. Keeping this stuff over here on this side, maybe back in here. Maybe it'll end up being more on the uh, lizard side, cool, cooler. That's the way it's just going to go. I'm going to go up here now and just block in the, that blue. I'm going to go with it. Really, that original blue we made the, with the, just a little bit of phalo uh, green in it. And I'm going to power that in in the back here. I don't even know if I made enough of it. I might have to make another little batch real quick. Because this needs to be pretty strong and dark. Let me see what this one does. This is the fatal green side, which I... Put a lot of blue in it. I can still use that. I'll be all right. I know you guys worry about me, but you don't have to, okay? I, I know what I'm doing. I won't fail. I won't fail. Okay. I need to get it all the way up here to the edge. Don't want it to, uh, you know, have a white edge at the top. Those things always find a way to peek out of a frame and stuff. I'm not really looking at the birds. I'm looking at colored uh, changes coming down. Definitely want to keep staying on this really uh, blue-green side all the way down, just to tone it down. Just a little bit of oil, make things run. You know, that's about it. And I need just want to get this in here. This will help uh, help all the other areas. Just getting close to where I think it's good to co cover it up a little bit, and we'll bring it back. The edges. No 
little bit of oil just to keep keep this really moving. And I'm talking little oil. I don't put much on. I just, you know, just enough to keep it that I can get a consistent stroke of color. It doesn't really break up too much. Okay, well, this color, I'm going to bring it all the way down. Now it's mixing all with these guys. It wasn't supposed to mix too much with this, this area, but it did. All right, I can't do it. Can't go very much longer. I have to mix more phalo and blue together. Just, you know, just ran out of it. And even when I started, I said, oh, I, should, I made the pile bigger. And all I really got was another one, two strokes. But I like to thin, thin, thin these darks out, you know, for this basic toning. You know, I got, now you can start seeing the red and the green together, which is right in here really start to see it really work. Um, I'm still going to go, even though down in here, um, it goes a little bit more blue. A little white with a little bit of white in it. I'm still going to kind of keep it. Um, on the full strength uh, dark, dark side. Well, what is that color? Is it this just, just blue-green? Just blue-green again. I mean, basically, it's I'm just using it on the whole thing. I could have done done the whole painting in it. Um, but I'm also thinking about the reflection. I won't put it so strong right in the ref this, this uh, reflected area. But yeah, this is just blue-green again. Maybe more green than blue on this side because... Uh, we want things to come closer to us and green is just the just in front of blue on the uh, visual scale of depth it'll come to hit your eyes just a little bit faster i think it's faster in purple too yeah i should know these things I should, I should. Um, all right. Ta -da. All right, next week what we'll be painting. This is an abstract version of this one. So uh, next week we'll be doing a different painting. Um, no, no. Um, I just, it sometimes just, just takes a while to get this, uh, get this stuff in here. But when it starts to cover, uh, when it starts getting in here, it's, like this, then it's going to be beautiful. It's just going to everything's just going to fly together. I'm just putting a little bit of this green I got run out out of my brush here, just in these little uh, shadow areas here. It's going to be purple going in on top of this, but uh, it's okay to have some green showing through too because there's a lot of green, blue green in here showing through. Um, it's it's, it's uh, can be, you know, work fine. Okay. All right. So I, I, you can see it's very transparent, very good, gooey, and very. I didn't try to do anything here. I just really trying to do a basically a tone that's interesting, but not too heavy yet. Um, what I'm going to do now is do the lighter parts, the second value in here. It's more of a blue. The, or it just has a little bit of more white in it. Let me see which one it's going to end up being. Well, I'm going to try and do this stroke right in here, between here. It's just like a little triangle. You know. See, yeah, too much blue. Too much blue, not enough white. No, let me try the second value right on top of it. 
Uh, it needs to be grayed out. It's almost too bright. Too bright a blue. Let me try this. You know, just test them out and see where you are first before you go. I think I might be able to go with uh, oxide red and blue. It's white. Let me see it again. I think it's more of a kind of a deader. Maybe I'll even just a little bit of a mix of the, of the richness of that other one. Yeah, it's just a too cool. Too cool. This needs it. Needs to be that. Or is it more green? Yes, it's more green. It's on the green side instead of the blue side. So this is fatal green and blue, but it's on the green side with a little bit of white. And all I'm going to do, do a lot of little brush strokes, break this down into rectangles and and uh, big strokes. You know, using a brush that's too big for the job, right? You do that, you get creative strokes. If you do more creative strokes with a big brush than you do with a bright size brush. So that's pretty good right there. I might just, all I need is a nice stroke there above the head. I might go with a bristle there. I think a Bristles sometimes just will do a great job too. That's what that does. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to, I'm gonna have to come back with a little bit with that uh, fatal green and uh, alizarin mix because of. Uh, I need these couple darks here that are not showing up really well. I need to add some more white to this page. I don't need that big a mid tone on this one. I can use it's more a little bit lighter. Okay, so a lot of times just simple draw drawing it in. You know, and learning to, to leave things a little bit. You catch them on the next route. Yeah, a bristle probably would have been a better better solution than some of this back end too. I tell you, I'm rusty teaching. Okay, so this is, yeah, just, I'm just going to go back and forth, try to be a little spontaneous of my strokes trying to get as much done in um, one stroke okay it's gonna have to lighten up when I get down in here but back in here pretty much is the right color for everything back in here might even go a little bit lighter right in here where these where it starts to break off into little tiny little Longer ripples back there. And smaller ripples. Most of that stuff won't show up. Okay, now we talked about going back. This is phalo green and alizarin. It's full strength mixes. Probably on the pretty good mix of both, I think. You know, right here, pushing it back into this. This uh, uh, this guy here, um, just a little bit of oil. You want just a little bit of oil on your brush before you grab your paint, and you can get it to go over all that all that crap here, and you're going to get all these these marks here. Uh, that's what you want to do, guys. It's going to gray out really quick. 
I mean, I did put the paint on pretty thin. You know, but uh, keep it at full strength, basically. You got to have just a touch of oil on your brush to be able to make, you know, make this mark here. You know, just make it stay that color and keep that color as you go through. Same here. Just, just now you can see it starts to peter out. That's okay. Now I can use it down in here. This, like I said, down in this area here. And real, yeah, that's a bristle brush. Definitely is helping out. That's really getting the marks after, you know, you get that good block in uh, with that uh, other guy. The other synthetic. Got a decent block in. Got a little, I mean, color, put the color, color in. Now it's synthetic comes in here and just kind of doesn't has a totally different mark. And it's so much fun to put in. Yeah. And I'm just probably gonna have to clean this color off a little bit. So I have to bring out my handy dandy eraser for that. There we go. Now look at these. The thing about these all the waves, making sure you got lines, making sure you got strong, strong waves and stuff. Lines for these waves. So you got to have darks. You got to your darks are going to be really nice and you know clean and uh, right temperature too. Sometimes they are cool, but sometimes they're like I said. You got this warmth in here. It's going to be a, a lot more in here too. But I want to finish up. Uh, basically going through this one color here and making sure I got it everywhere I see it. I think there's a lot of places even up here uh, in this warmer red that it can it can it can be in. And then when I peter it out just try it again just a little bit. I'm almost done with that color. Wow. Almost done through it. Okay, just a few little spots. Okay. Okay. One thing also about waves, think about them as, uh, they always think about them a little bit of a rectangle, I mean triangle. You know, little peak to them, longer things. That'll help. I'm painting some negative areas here. Okay. I'm going to bring out my paint eraser and uh, clean up my back. Uh, back area here. I just you know this is going to be just a little bit hectic. Pull some of this off. Okay, and then these guys too, I kind of, well, I could probably, just shapes back there. Oh, we have to use up all my paint, all my white to get these guys back in here. All right. Okay. 
right. Um, all right. There we go. We've got to, you know, work in the painting, work in the painting. Um, also, I'm going to make sure I got this little spot here under his neck and beak, the back, good and strong, really dark. It'll feel even darker. A lot of times, you know, a lot of times you, colors don't show up till you put another color around them. Okay, thinking about these guys keeping the shapes going. You know, get that strength and you know you gotta do the whoosh sound too when you do these whoosh, whoosh, works. Keeps you keeps you going. All right. Yeah. All right. I could probably just, you know, just get a little bit cleaner brush, bigger bristle brush. I'm going to put in this lighter blue. Let's see if that how that goes in. This is one of the things like I was talking about, putting in paint, how, how I apply pressure on these things, putting it in like really, you know, it has no choice. It has to go in, you know, even if it's not the right color, sometimes just as long as it's right value, it's the right temperature, you know, you can, you know, get away with. The wrong color, but as long as it's put in like you meant it. That's really it. I mean, that's the key to really a lot of paintings. Just, you know, I don't think you meant it. I meant to put it in this strong. I'm going just a little bit purple now into these underneath him, right in here and, and in, in here. There's going to be a little bluish color two coming in here okay purple as i was talking about is uh, oxide red and uh, oxide red and blue purple so it's a kind of a warm purple trying to get rid of all my uh warm red that was already in here so now it's like a couple big strokes back off and just do a couple little ones. Down in here though, gosh, that let me see some. I think it's gonna be this. It's gonna be oxide red phthalo green. This right here. And so even if I don't, I think it's I think it's the right color. I know it's really gonna be the right color, but even if I didn't. I put it in, you know, shove it in here hard and really twist it and make this make this bottom arc really good, you know. Because if it's right, it's gonna be perfect. If it's not right, then I gotta redo it. That's not bad though, you know. So that was uh. Phthalo green and oxide red here with white going into these, this right here in the, into these highlights, warm purples in here. You know, that's the color. Might be just a gosh, you know, good enough. All right, so I'm just going to break this other area down into strokes. Okay. 
Okay. Get this big stuff and then twist it down, keep it going as far as you can, then open it up and twist it down again. A lot of things with water, they all run together. It all kind of can 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 be, you know, together, uh, end up together in the same part, different, you know, finding a place that uh, to match up uh, where your stroke ends and another one begins. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of, yes, can I add more white? Well, just a touch more red. Back in here, just a little more red to it. So I got this big area, big area, twist it off, twist it, ends up in that area, crossover stroke. It's going to be using this light color here to uh, create this this thing. This 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 light thing is yeah. I gotta I gotta watch where it goes though because I didn't paint this guy yet, and so it's like oh, I should have. Uh, you know, this light, this shadow should have been that farther that. So really look for this this edge of the wing. Coming down back down and arcing down. So when it comes back down, it just tells me this right in here. That's where it has to be. All right, that's about it. I mean, yeah, there's going to be some little green spots in here too. So this is where I just go on the other side and use the phthalo green oxide red versions and stuff. Come back in into this area, and uh, there's just down here and below here that uh, gets just a few spots. So you can get a little bit of that phthalo green kind of coming through here. Cool. Yeah, I got to put some more darks in there. That's okay. I got the reds there. I need this green. I think I'm going to lay it in here. This is going to be a little stronger. You know, like this. I left these spots here. Just to bring up uh, this. Okay. I'm going to leave that, I think. There's a red. Um, I'm going to go back to the oxide red and phthalo green. But more oxide red. Really kind of on the red side of that. And use that. It's pure strength. Right? In, in here. In this. This little bit of like I said, these things just kind of all run together. So start someplace and end with another one. You can you know twist it up and things. That's what I'm doing, looking at. I really don't get too perfect. It's really hard to do that. Are you doing it like this? So but just now it's, yeah, you know, this, this will fit. No, if you're not looking at the photo, uh, this will, this works fine. I'm draw this one out a little bit farther. A little red into it too. These here. 
Yeah, same here to just see a little bit of red into that blue green there and. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Let's get to our main guy. Look at my brush. I'm gonna change brushes again because I don't really care for that one. I'm gonna go to a synthetic. Now I'm gonna start getting those second tier colors a lot easier and things like that. Get some things done. I'm gonna just get the go to the browns and get this guy's head in. So this is that fatal green, just like a little. Uh, just a little bit of fail green, cad orange, and uh, just a little bit of cad red into it. Then I go a little dark with it first and just rub it in and, you know, work it around a little bit. Just to kind of sketch out the shape a little bit better. You know, let it, let it grab a little bit of the, this blue green and work itself in here. Just work on the drawing a little bit as I go. Hmm. Now I'm going to look and see where else I got that color. I can use it instead of just, you know, just using it here and saying it's done. Looking back in here going, I could probably could get in there, into this area here a little bit. So I'm just going to sh put it in here. To, it's going to be in there a little bit. Now this is where yeah, this is always that little area where you get a little tricky uh, about finding your way around. Yeah. Switch this is gonna be great. I'm chickening out. I gotta go. I'm exhausted. <laughs> How can you be exhausted? You're a bitch. <laughs> It's been good a, to see you, Lynette. It's always oh, great. It's I understand. Great to see you. It was a wonderful uh, workshop. Thank you on Saturday. Oh, oh thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I'll, I, yeah. I'll work yeah. on this. Okay. We had fun. We had fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you take Thank it you. easy. All right. Thank you. We'll see you in the bye bunny bye. papers. <laughs> Okay. I really need to start thinking about this guy here too. I don't want this getting too, too over. So basically I was using what I used up here, just back in here, but in fact, what I'm using now is has a little white in it. It's the same color with just a little bit of white in it. And then I'm just gonna see how well it goes up here on this top of this ridge of his neck here and then around the where it starts to, around the bend here and really it's just changing the brush stroke angles let me go just a little warmer so I have a little yellow cad yellow in it and let's get this right underneath his head here. It's just picking up a little bit of reflection from that that uh, 
wing there a little bit. This is also probably going to run into the front too a little bit. Yeah, this this area here has to be light, lightened a little bit. But I love that color underneath. So I'm going to go with just a little bit. I might even put a little orange into it. I think. Grab some of that orange is from the neighboring color there. Get that in here a little bit too. I don't want it too dark. Probably going to lighten that up just a little bit more. Let's do this red. I have this red too. That's really good. That probably fish if I lightened it up, it would be beautiful right there. On this, yeah, later version of that. Just a little more cad red into it. Just a touch warmer. Sorry, you guys can't see these colors. You know, if you you scroll this uh, little uh, the small picture down there, you can scroll it to the to the uh, photo. I mean, to to my palette. And see my palette as I grab colors too, but they're going to be really small. But that's not bad. Just needs to be a little lighter, maybe orange too. Yeah, that feels better. So that is a uh, cat orange and uh, cat orange, a little bit of green. This color here, going in into these highlights areas. Just a touch of white into it now. Okay. Don't leave that there. And I'll look back in here and see where I can find any of that stuff. Yeah, where else it could be? I mean, I was I mean, right in here, this this has a really nice couple change of colors of warm and you know, reds and oranges and stuff right in here. That's a little bit stronger color. Yeah, I have to get you guys back into the swing on Monday nights here. Everybody's all tired. Oh, too tired. I bet you none of you guys stayed up to midnight either. None of you guys probably stayed up to midnight before for uh, New Year's. Right. You guys all went to big parties, right? Did you? I went to Downton Abbey, in fact. <laughs> we watched that <laughs> all night. <laughs> And kept us kept us up kept us awake. Hey, that's hey, that's funny, Jim, because uh, we watched The Crown. <laughs> <laughs> we love The Crown too. That's yeah. like ah, oh, that's a, so much fun. It was that was a go to for staying awake. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, did not stay awake very much longer though. Oh God, you know, it's just no fun. Waste tons wasted on me. I'm like, oh, it was years, those days are gone. Jesus, what happened? Uh, put blues and uh, purples here back here. I'm working at uh, I started with the blue, uh, oxide red and blue here on the red side and putting that in here. Uh, and then I needed to warm it up as it came down a little bit. So I was using the oxide red and phthalo green in here. And as it comes down to the sec, these leaves down in here. So just this one little area, just shifting the color from warm to cool. To keep, even though the cool's on top, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's going to have some lot of contrasts around it. And even when I get all the way up to here, I probably just like I'm doing right now, it's just starting to shade to right to blue, 
blue and white. Almost. So I'm just going to start feeding that in, in these areas here. Going around the outside, trying to start to get the shape going a little bit better. You know, thinking about these these uh, a few of these feathers coming through. Yeah, it might be a lot more white in here yet, but um, right now I'm just going to work it and see how what happens here. I'm trying to keep it in the blue because it's because I know this is this is always always a good one, orange and and. Uh, Orange and blues together in, in a, one of these things is always feel gorgeous and the photo looks great. So that's the whole key to it is making sure you're, you are orange and blues. You got that warm and you got that cool. And even this red we're using, the oxide red light, um, that has a lot of, you know, even that can be very close to an orange really easy. So works so well just rubbing those guys in just catching a little bit of the reds here gonna go back in here and try and get that tail better see if i can you know start getting this tail in here got the shadow for it you know right here did pretty good that way That's not bad. I mean, really, I mean, I'm going to put, I'm going to put, it's blue. So I'm going to, on top of that, on the top higher areas, I'm going to put just a little more uh, red on top here. So it's just a little more pinkier. I'll keep the blue down. And that'll help give it shape and give it some, some rise. Thing over here. Just get that leaf or uh, it comes all the way here. I'm just short on those guys. No, just losing my way here. I'm just not making this thick enough right in here. And really hitting that blue really strong. But that's the thing on this one, just it's kind of a it's going to be a mix of colors. Should have some green in that too. Right in here, puts a little green, phalo green in there. It's always good too. There we go. On our way. Look over here, just a little bit of warmth. <laughs> Who's humming? Somebody's humming. <laughs> no humming and painting. I think they heard you say that. They're not humming now. <laughs> it was, it was, I, I confess I was humming. It's Kim. <laughs> It was fine. You weren't. You were. You were in tune. <laughs> no, no. It's love doing these things. You, just, you know, you never know what's going to happen. I'm working a little red, more red into these colors. Then I'll, you know, I'm trying to get everything set up before I do white. You know, making sure. I, have these colors in here because I want the uh, white to have something to play off of instead of having them, um, you know, just flat putting them in there. They gotta have a, some color to grab onto and blend and stuff. So that's what I'm working, thinking about what these colors are underneath here, making sure that I got everything done. You know, before I go to the, go white, all the white areas, I wanna make sure I got as much of the colors correct underneath. You know, 
warm that up. And when I say warm it up, I'm probably just going to put redder. Some warm color in these areas right in here. This little area here has a lot of that ox, that phthalo green and cad red, cad orange mix, that really head mix here. Right, right into these areas right in here under this wing here. It almost comes, comes from this guy too. So, so at least see if I'm drawing is halfway decent. I can't tell right now. So, okay. So I'm just going to lighten that, that area up a little bit. Bring these guys over just a little farther. Okay. Getting everything starting to get ready for the, the big push, right? The big push. Making sure I got a little bit more orange and stuff back here at the back tail. You know, a little more orange maybe on the right in here. Ochreish, orange and green. Okay. So you can just see how dry that is right there. Yeah, I mean, you paint your paint would just grab and drop and it won't keep going. So it's always good to just get a little oil going in here, oil it up a little bit before you start doing your light colors. But that's when we get these shadows in. I'm putting the shadows in first. Back in here, shadows of the leaves. Or the, yeah, these uh, of the feathers. So trying to count them this time a little bit better. I had a bigger brush. I think I can get this other stuff on this. Now these guys back in here. I'm just going to put them in real quick. I'm just going to see if I can see what. I'm just using a oxide red and blue on the red side for that. I'm going to go with probably more of a green. No, I'll go with oxide red. No, I'm going with the. Let me try this. Yeah, I think that'll work. This is a phthalo green and, and alizarin together. with white. Yeah, just gonna have to put it in with just a little bit uh, more paint. Chickened out, put it in really thin. Mixing paint with my brush is not a good idea either, but I'm doing it. So this, these two colors together make can be make a blue, and they can make a uh, make a purple, cool purples and stuff. So I just think they look back in here. They work great. That's a little too dark yet. Just work on that guy right there. 
back it down here a little bit more. And if you don't like these guys at the end, it is oil, so we can always take them out. I don't have to live with them. So this is why I took took that paint out for I could do that. I mean, get it in there just like that without doing, you know, sucking too much out. The idea of these guys back there, that's all it's going to be. And like I said, I'm going to keep them in soft. And if I want to come back and you know, take another little stab at them and they deserve to be bigger, better. I can do that. Right now, we're just going to keep it simple. All right. All right. Let me get a good brush cleaned out. I'm going to clean my oil. Got a little dirty when I'm going to go to the light colors. It's always good to you know, swap out your oil a little bit because every little keeping your you know highlights and lights clean. It's always a good thing to keep that keep that going. Lots of nice highlights to put in. I'm going to go with it back to my other bristle. Turn around. This is really going to get. So I'm going to start working on this guy now. Start putting in the brighter spots in this guy. Uh, I'm going to start with this head where I got the yeah, oranges and stuff. Uh, I'm using the highlight, the, the uh, phthalo green, uh, cad orange, and uh, cad red mix. They, that came down, and then I split it, and I put cad red into it. That's what I'm using here. And then the wider side of it. Okay. And then, yeah, you know, whiter, whiter for the front end here. I'll come back in and put in the shadow later. Okay. And right here, we start to get the meat of the, the uh, wing coming back up here. And twisting it off into it. A couple strokes fit it fit it in there. Okay. I'm gonna come down this way with the stroke. Follow the stroke is just you know really following the feather. I tell you guys that all the time. Furs, feather. Pretty much follow, see if you can follow it. So this is this little area here coming in. I'm using uh, 
yellow and white base layout, almost like a maple, uh, not maple, uh, ochre and and uh, white mix. Really heavy duty white. Okay, we could go with that a little bit up here toward the tips and bring it back down. I'm to try and get the meat of this guy in. I'm going to go over here and move down and get my really one of my brightest colors. See if I can put it in here. Anything else? It's a little mixy here at the end, so. But if my brush should be polluted just about the right amount. Be able to get underneath here and still look like a, you know, look like it belongs. We'll look back in here. I think I'm going to lighten this area up too. Back down here. Okay, let's get this thing blocked in at least today. Then go back to this very first color I used back in here. Let me use it for this back back feather here, so it has that just a little bit of red into it. That one has a little yellow to it. Doesn't take a little bit to pull these guys all together, but yellow is going to come before the white. Somebody say something? Okay. Up here, probably even goes a little cooler. I don't want to look for a little bit of blue to put in here, I think. In. All right. When things are in the right spot. At least. Just gonna take your time. 
pull these feathers together back in here, this tough Reusing some of the purples and blues that are on my brush. Just paying attention to where what's happening, and you can start to see where else this color could go. And now it's just adjustments. I mean, yeah, the you know as I go and stuff, just to get the adjustments right, make sure I got the right pinks, things like that. You know, always do the, gonna need that. So there's a little cad red here. I'm gonna go with a little cad red and just a little bit of that light blue, which is a really, one more cad red. There's one, one feathers back in here that go in this one area we made at the beginning. Make sure I got the first dark on the right one. Get that guy. You can get him. And the rest just follow what's underneath and stuff. Just kind of pretty much this thinner. A little room in between. Okay. Now I can start to figure out exactly where things go. Okay. I'm gonna clean my brush and get this back tail highlight highlighted and then go around the outsides and get these last few things there and then put in the beak. I should be done. Yeah, get I get 10 minutes. I can do that. This should only take a minute. Just a touch of oil when I grab it. Grab my paint. And when I put it in here, I just, you know, twist it off at the end. Grab it again.
I'm gonna need a lot more paint there. I have to put it on, like I said, with a synthetic to get it in there. But I'm just trying to. Take a look first. All right, I think that's enough for that. Okay, synthetic. Back to a synthetic for the uh, some of these finishing touches. Well, that's going to be a lot of finishing touches. This is not near anything finished yet. But, um, I want to get up here and get the, get the dark in first. I definitely don't need this brush for that. Do the darks. I'm going to use an oxide red and blue. So on the blue side. Get that triangle in. And get the shape of that ball right here. A bit more paint. These two to touch. Okay. Step back one step and put a mix of the highlight in here of the on the it's not the highlight, it's midtown basically, that's all it is. Going into these darks here. And the reds, oranges, and stuff going in. Touch of oil, make it going nice and easy. Orange on top. Just that little spot underneath the bill that you can see that has some orange. Basically, it's just what I'm doing, just barely touching some of the, the shadows of this uh, feathers here. And just got that color pretty much just by that. Yeah, there's going to be some more lighter colors yet. You have to come in here and do his head here. Bring that out. I got to get in front of it for a little bit to do that. And look at the shadows. So we'll be able to play with the, the feathers and stuff here for quite a while because of the white. 
mono white paint in here. So we don't have to have these guys perfect yet. Mostly everything is going to be okay here. Might uh, you know, think about just going in and touching these guys one quick time. They look a little bit better for you. Okay, so I'll bring you guys in in a second to see this, and then we'll come up and see what you guys did. Okay, I think I still need to do some, definitely need a, there it goes. Yeah, it's just too bright, but that's value. That's the tone I was looking for. I figure by now it's just toned down enough. I can use it for things. Come back and run one more line on it. Okay. This kind of, I guess we're getting some height here. Said, I get him in now. Great. Probably went a little bit too far with this guy, but and then. Uh, And then we talked about just putting in a little bit of uh, splashes. And they're not white. Basically, I'm using oxide red, a little bit of phthalo green, and just a hair of white into a mid-tone. Um, that's what I'm using here, and that's what I used, going to use for some of these splashes. They don't need to be too bright. It's always the thing it's you think it's they should be brighter than they are. Okay, let's I'll bring you in and uh, let's see what you guys did. Lots of work here, just touching up. I'll be touching it up like that all night. So I'm gonna stop right now. <clears throat> but here it is, you know, it's the heads off a little bit. Uh Wings all have to be figured out leaf wise, but the, the value underneath those guys is, is cool. It's it's a mix of purples, uh, warm purples. Uh, so it has that oxide red and blue mixed into it. Uh, there's a little phthalo green mixed into it too. Then there's some of that cad red coming through over here and into uh, thing. Just got to push it all a little bit and then really hone it in. And then working these guys just a little bit more, uh, you know, and get a couple of darks. They need, you need the darks in the, in right here, the few few little lines up here in there to really uh, hold the hold this area down and bring it up front. You know, you need that contrast. Um, and then a few dark back there. It's a lot of work, really. Not, uh, you know, it's a probably a half day's work. But uh, what can I say? So, who wants a show? We got Kathleen. She has everything up. Let's see, Kathleen. Oh, darn! I didn't mean to bring it up so fast. Sorry, can you Kathleen. hear me? Yeah, we can see you. <laughs> oh, look at you! Nice. Yeah. I don't know. Needs a lot. It looks like it. Yeah. 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 The color looks really bad on this. It still looks bad. <laughs> Yeah, you probably end up probably having to go a little bit cooler on those things. I know I led, I misled 
everybody going a little bit too too much green in there at the beginning. But yeah. uh, I, your drawing's fine. I think, think you're gonna you can you'll you'll catch on really yeah uh, you'll catch it uh, real soon. So go more way, orange you know. with the. It looks really yellow in this. <laughs> it's really yellow. But I figured, you know, there was giving you some credit saying that, you know, I'm sure it's the monitor, right? So you probably yeah, need a little That's what more, it is. <laughs> little <laughs> right. bit, it is. Okay. If it is, that's what it is. That's okay. Well, and, I don't uh, know. I'll, well, just watch it and keep, keep, really, it's, it's okay to have that underneath. Um, okay. And just the next colors on top, you're probably going to have a lot more white in them. But that, that color's good, good to show through. That's okay. It's all right. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah. Just, you know. Okay. Well, I'll keep about the, tweaking it. <laughs> keep tweaking. It's a, it's a work in progress. That's for sure. Yep. All right. Yeah, I wish I'd put it a little higher like yours, but oh, well. I don't know if I put, oh, God, I put mine way too high. I like yours yeah, better. I thought it looked really good. But it oh, always does. <laughs> I kind of shoved everything else, got shoved up. A little bit of it kept going up. Oh, bad layout well, I, again. Well, it looks fine to me, but anyway. All right. Well, good. Okay. Really thanks, good, James. Good start. I'll keep working. I'm, we will see you. We see you on Facebook with it. Okay. okay. Char is up. Yeah. Char is up. Oh, we knew Char would be there. Good job, Char. You got a nice light on it now, too. Look at that. She's been working or going out and getting good your own lights. Well, I've I've got a new monitor coming in this week so that my colors are more accurate and a new camera. So I'm hoping Ooh. next week I'll be set. I think you're going out on your own. Wow. <laughs> the water there looks great. Go. That's a Here's really more. great start. That There's is more a really color good start in the for and the feathers, the color in the feathers isn't showing up very well. It, it's it a little burned wide. out. Yeah, yeah, but there is color in there. Yeah. Okay, that's that's the only thing I was going to say. I did, and I figured you, because it's so white on the thing, a monitor. I said, well, maybe yeah. you, should, you probably didn't get there that much. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. I've got a, quite actually quite a bit of color in there, but I I think the, yeah, your your color tones back there are really good. Really good. I think you probably, you know, and even in the front, uh, those look good. Uh, I like what there's some really nice movement of color. Uh, brushwork is coming along really good on that. You know, sometimes that's the thing is that when you do do these waves and stuff, you nail it with one stroke, you ruin it with two. So sure, when you do it with you get it done like that, walk away. Don't worry. Don't don't worry about making a making perfect strokes okay. just get get the good ones you know and um he's look good uh layouts are really good so far colors are great so uh i don't really have anything any qualms at this point we'll okay. you know finish it up put it up there we'll, we'll critique it some more oohs okay. and ahs oohs and ahs <laughs> okay uh, uh thanks Char. Uh, we got uh, Eva. Did you paint? Yes, I did. Oh, look mm. at her. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, you know, fair. You started that yesterday, didn't you? No. Yes, <laughs> yes you did. No way you got that much done tonight. Wow. Eva, you hit the color so beautifully. Congrats. I mean, uh, even the what the 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 the, um, the swans in the back. Values are perfect. The shapes are really good. Congrats as heck out of it. That's really nice. Um, to light the one in the back. You know, I wouldn't go any lighter. I mean, yeah, if you can go, you're probably, I didn't figure you're totally done with them. I figured, probably, but I would say that value we got there was probably the brightest you'd go. But even at that stage, they're they're sitting back, which is really, really good. Um, shape wise on your other drawing on the, on the big one, really coming along nicely already. Got some real nice warmth up front. Figure out that, you know, you're figuring out the, the feathers nicely, really keep the cools that blue in, into the feathers and in, into the shadows and that, those areas and stuff that will just be gorgeous with that stuff. Uh, you know, um, 
don't get too blendy underneath in the in the in the sh in the in the reflection and stuff you don't have to add, you know just a little uh pull it together a little tighter because you got you kind of block it's kind of blocking off sometimes you need to fix and thins you know thins at the end fix in the middle uh on those guys shape wise uh that's about it other things otherwise man that thing's come along really good congrats well i can't believe I have... you got that done tonight I, no, I start painting when you were drawing. So at least the water. Uh, I have you to admit, I was I was using a lots of Prussian blue. That's the, I know, I know. I was thinking about that too. That's why I was kind of almost making with the blue and the green. This is a Prussian blue. You know, I might come back with that. You know, everybody too. You know, think about that. You know, if, if you didn't get the blue because it kind of kind of got, got an aqua. <laughs> Prussian blue was probably really the correct one. And I think this that's Prussian blue. It's gorgeous. But mm -hmm. I think that was right. That was a smart move. So did you have fun in Poland? That was a long time ago. Was ah. it? Oh, then... okay. Okay, we won't. Don't talk to me then. Don't talk okay. to me then. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, Jim. Yeah. Okay. But I have... <laughs> You know, a few good pictures. I hope we can paint that that guy with those pigeons. Yeah, yeah. I definitely will get that in here. We need oh. to paint a person. Okay. Good job. Fabulous. Thank really nice. Thank you. Yes. Who's that? That's me. Oh, oh Marsha wants to go. She, see, Marsha's going to fall asleep. Oof. Heck, Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Ah, damn, that's nice. Wow, Marsha, that's fabulous strokes, fabulous brushwork on that back end, on the, on the feathers up there. My God, that's gorgeous. That's what I wanted to do, and you did it. Yeah, no wonder yeah, I couldn't, yeah. See, no wonder I couldn't <laughs> find mine. Uh, you do it. You had it. <laughs> really nice. Beautiful. Nice, even the back tail coming out there and stuff. You know, a lot of times you don't have to be exact on these guys. Sometimes it's better to be really uh, twist that brush like she did and just get it in there. Oh, my God. That's that has so much volume in it. If I get nice. the colors right, it'll be fine. <laughs> I think your colors are really close. I mean, I don't mind those at all. That's sometimes, you know, I'd say that top area. Lee, don't touch that. You know, just, you know, just the other. Even even where the light is coming in from the one edge of the neck, the bottom edge of the neck in the water, that's gorgeous. Okay, and then the, the you know, the drawing's perfect. Everything's really good. I think, yeah, just finishes, finishes this guy off. I think the colors are right there. Um, yeah, you might have gone, that's, you know, check that out, but the back, the back ones might be a touch bright. Have, yeah. Uh, you know, a step or two light, but yeah. that's okay. We can always type darken those guys. And, and the Prussian blue might be a really good idea, but mm. I tell you that the way that orange head is singing against that green is pretty gorgeous. I figured I could just glaze the back birds down. You can. If you got the good strokes, guys, like that, if you got the everything you got in there and stuff, they're really close, they're close enough. The next time, you know, to let it all dry and then just glaze them with some some Prussian blue back there. Yeah, push the, them all the back, back equally. For sure. The back for that sure. oranges, your oranges mm -hmm. and greens and stuff are purples. You got, see, you got all those colors going in that bird. Really take it easy on them, rest the way. I think that's going to be super. I will. That He's got to come down a little bit under that wing. Um, oh, don't, don't yeah. screw it up. Don't screw it up. Just a little up. bit more bird. Yeah, just a little bit, but don't screw it up. Don't screw it <laughs> yeah, Okay, sure. No problem. <laughs> no, hey, no pressure. No, no pressure. screw it up. <laughs> yeah. Don't overwork really, it. Really great strokes there, Marcia, though. Okay. I thanks. tell you, I just really love those. Congrats. Thanks. Okay, Kim. Yep. Let's see what Kim did. We got somebody else up there. It was 1725.62. Not that, might sure. be, nice. that might be Lisa, but I I lost I lost all hope, so I got way behind. Lisa, I'm here Kim. too. Susan is here too. 
Okay. I got you guys coming yet. We got to go through Kim's here. Just go. Kim, Kim, Did Kim. Did you start painting early? <laughs> no. Yeah, look at this. I mean, look at this stuff. You see, that's the whole thing is the energy the, the, that, 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 that not worrying about it and throwing your brush stroke in there and just let, you know, don't worry about a, a, a feather, you know, that if it's not perfect. That's what this does. This gets all the energy. It's a ruffled feather looking gorgeous thing. Oh my God, girl. You know, okay, now watch your back ones go. I mean, yeah, they're a little really light. Great, little light, little light. Just keep them in the really kind of mid, very mid tone to dark tones back there. Next, really that's nice. really beautiful, guys. Jim, this I can't see what you're looking at. Oh, you, oh, I'm sorry. You can't see this girl? No. I'm thinking, well, where's this amazing painting? I don't see it. <laughs> Does anyone else see, see it? Yeah, I think I yeah. do. Flip your I camera. see it. I, I see it. It it's 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 right there. The big one. It's the big picture. Well, now you took it off. <laughs> well, now it just shut off. Yeah, I mean, I didn't mean to. So I was I'm trying to see. It. I'm still holding it yeah. up. Here it is. Yeah, she's still oh, holding okay. it. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. That's it. Okay. Okay, I I just took it off and put it back up. Beautiful. That, that is. The light doesn't shine. You know, up. That, I, you know, sometimes it's just the atmosphere about that one is really so nice. That orange going into the greens and oh, I like that light. Yeah. Okay. I hope you don't no, leave it right where, <laughs> leave that light on it. It's gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> really good brushwork, girl. Love the brushwork so far. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Finish this one off. Uh, I don't have anything bad to say. I just say, just, or, you know, I just, it's all good. I would think um, you might need to end up cleaning up the blues in the back a little bit. You know, they start to get a little muddy. And uh, that means you just need to get a little bit cleaner, cooler blue in there. And yep. um, and then just watch the, you know, the if nothing else, if you got the shape of those guys right, the birds back there mm -hmm. in the background, if you got, you feel good with them, we can, you can always glaze them back at the end. If you got the, Got that's all this work done, that's fine too. You know, just put a coat of coat of blue over them and they'll and glaze it back right in right where you want it want it too. But uh, the shadows coming along on that on that on the feathers and stuff are beautifully done. I'm really happy with that. And this that warmth at the back end, man. I'm gonna steal everything from you guys. I'm gonna do that same stuff. I mean, that, that's really <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hey, hey, Jim, for, for yeah. next week, can you send out the Zoom link? Because quite it took me about 10 minutes to get on. I When I tried to download the um, the PDF from when I bought the course, if you will, it, it yeah. said it expired. So then I couldn't find the Zoom link. So some, one of the students actually in the end sent me it. But um, Oh, sorry. Um, Kim, I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I usually send it out. Uh, I just sent it out yesterday. I must. I don't know if I missed you or I don't, just didn't get I to you. Yeah, the, maybe. I certainly didn't Lisa get had it. I, trouble I, got, too. I got the image off of Facebook because you had posted that that's what the image was. But otherwise, that was the only way I, I got on. Anyway, oh, don't waste time on that. Just just please. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'll get. I'll make sure you got it. I'll make sure you get it. And if not, speak up by midday on Sunday. What do you okay, want to so paint you, next? What do we, what's everybody want to do? Anyway, okay, we got uh, Linda. Hi, Linda. Hello. Ooh, Linda. <laughs> nice. Exactly. Wow, you've been have you been painting without us? No. You found somebody else. You found no, a no, not at all. But you know, I was so intimidated. As you can see, my my actual bird is far behind everybody else's. But I was intimidated to start into the feathers. So. Um, I can see why that, but you've got so much color in there now. Now it's just, yeah, just really just car carving them out in that, in that area and stuff. I think you're, we've got a lot of good stuff going on. I like the, I like the, the overall uh, impressionistic look to it too. I mean, you really got a lot of good stuff going on there. Yeah, um, yeah I would say you probably could even heat up uh 
his head is uh, just okay. a little more oranges in his head yeah. and uh, coming down. And look at look for those at the back end uh, of him a little bit more too. Right. Okay. But and then don't be scared about putting in nice clean strokes, simple okay. strokes for those feathers, uh, and he, um, then break break off into dots. He, you know, dashes. Is he, off, is he off proportion a little bit? I was looking at his head. I was thinking his head looks a little small. Okay. Okay. It it could be his head and could be his neck. Uh, but uh well maybe it's his where you know where it slopes down to meet the water maybe that needs to come back a little bit that could come back too he could be a little bit, little ahead uh, there little but you know you don't you know i would say just make it work i wouldn't i wouldn't worry about car you know fixing too much because you know he's moving so you got a lot of leeway there to play with okay. uh yeah i think you, you finish up putting your lights in on that guy on the back end too yeah. That's yeah. gonna be nice. I like I like your strokes a lot. I really Good. like the way you you've got some dashes with some some big strokes. Uh, it really fills up the page. Good. Uh, okay, the good. painting. Good. Good. It's good. good. Well, I, I think it. you're good. Thank you. It looks okay. very Florida. How's the weather down there? Cold, and we're having a big storm tomorrow. Apparently, they've already canceled school. Can you imagine? It's like sort of like a. <laughs> It's 30 degrees. School? How do you cancel They're... school in Florida? Like what? It's not a snow day. What is it? <laughs> it's a big wimp day. That's what it is. They're wimps. <laughs> anyway, I kind of think so. I kind of think so. I'll, I'll, be, right. I'll have a snow day and I'll paint tomorrow. So there you go. <laughs> okay. There you go. Good girl. Thank Finish you. it up. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. Susan, we Susan. last year. You're getting there. We got still got Sharon at the bottom. Hey, Sharon. Hopefully you painted. Can you see it? Wait a minute. Yeah, turn on your light. Am I here? I don't see I don't anything. See, I don't see you either. Let me try again. I'm going to cancel you out. I mean, I can see me in the small things. I just can't see it in the big one. All right. Let me, let me, it's, I don't know. This is, uh, these guys are messing up here on us. Let's try it again. There you go. Yeah, it's weird. Um, it, uh, people didn't get, you know, that first. Uh, okay, let's talk about your paint first. Okay, wow. Really good. A lot of, lot of good. You guys have all done really well in those, uh, uh, on the feathers and the wings going back there. Really good motion. Uh, really helps, you know, Gives you great focus, good color. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. You, everything's going along really well. You did really, you know, for an hour and a half, you did really well. <laughs> well, <Yeah. laughs> I feel I still feel like I blend too much. I look at everybody else's strokes, and I just I can't. I gotta get that. Well, that yeah, comes, it comes, it comes with just putting it in and leaving it. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, that's okay. Your blending is are small. They're not huge. You're not like over, over uh, uh, washing things out. Um, you can still see some good darks underneath. So you're not just like, you know, graying out your paint. Your painting would be, feel much more gray if you were blending too much. Okay. So you got your darks are staying really good. Um, yeah, work on your shot, your work a little bit more on your uh feathers, they're really good. Uh, and then uh, work on the, the reflections nice and strong, nice and clean. You know, that's one of the things you can just put in really cleanly. You can, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, sharp edges. The sharp edges go with the territory on uh, reflections, you know, so edges are good there. So don't worry about that. Uh, then, you know, back on the back, uh, good, good job on the, on those guys too. Uh, just value wise, really nice. Just soften edges back there. And then, uh, you know, bring in some more blue. I would say, think more blue would be really good with that too. A little stronger blue right. in the, uh, in that background, but otherwise, uh, beautiful. You know. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. 
And then Sharon was the last. Sharon. Hey, you paint? Can, you, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Um, I'm having some technical difficulties here. I have entirely too many devices that I'm coordinating, so I'm not going to be able to shoot you a picture, but I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Us. That's, you know, hey, uh, you know, you know, you want a chicken out like that. That's, I understand. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, that's just. I have not joined the Facebook page yet. I guess I need oh, to. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. We will get you on there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll send you a link to it uh, later on. You know, you get it tomorrow morning or something like that. Sounds good. It's just that I've got four devices going here. <laughs> I, I can't yeah. figure out. Yeah. Well, yeah, the next time. Well, I, hey, can you tell us how good it is, though? You can just say how oh, oh. marvelous. <laughs> See, it's probably the best piece you've ever done, that kind of stuff. You know, it's a... <laughs> well, what, what I did enjoy is I'm getting looser with the, brush, with the brush strokes, and I'm getting a little bit more confident about your approach to, to, mixing, to mixing colors. So, um, it comes quick. It does come really quick at the end. Um, you know? But I'm, I'm really pleased with lo loosening up some. So Good. Good. Thank you. No worries. No worries. Thanks. And, and Lisa? <laughs> Lisa, your last one? Oh, give me one. So this is a big mess. Okay. No, Lisa. <laughs> no, Lisa. We, got, we want big messes. We want to make a laugh. See, we got to put Lisa in her place here after she did All that right. bingo. Right, she did that flamingo that was just like you know, really too good. Yeah, you know, there she goes. Oh, look at that! That's Where unbelievable. <laughs> What's happening? White, you know. did a great white picture. Nice, there we go. Oh, there you are. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at you. You're going to go in there and carve out every feather again, aren't you? Look I might. That. Look at that. It's beautiful. That, that uh, your uh, reflection under there and stuff. Really nicely placed things going on there, even though I'm not sure how much is real paint and which isn't, but the, the look is good. Um, good job so far. Oh, boy. You can tell a watercolor <laughs> a mile away, you know. <laughs> You know, when they start getting all these beautiful little, uh, you know, blends and things like that. I like the way you got the, you know, the your uh, uh, swans underwater in the back, too. I don't know. How'd you do that? Um, <laughs> I don't know. They're from the reference. But no, I. you know what? I just like, I know they have to be just what, a couple shades lighter than the background. And they Not were too much, white, yeah. so I just threw background on them for right now. No, no, that's what I was or doing too. Just running right through the background, not even worrying about it. I'm just, yeah. you know, Lisa, got to give you crap about something here. We can't just let you go. You can give me here's, crap about here's. this turkey leg here that's ready to be eaten instead of feathers. We'll take care of that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just a that's just a value thing. I think you're just yeah. a little light on that, and then yeah. Definitely. And that, and that could also be the highlights not in there yet either. I'm, you yeah, have, I'm, I'm just making a muddy mess. So I, I need to let it sit for a day or two because I'm to the point where it's just, it's okay. a mess. You're right. This is really a mess. You should quit yeah. right now and go home. Yeah. Well, you are home. Forget about it. <laughs> anyway. All right. It's beautiful. It really is. I think you're, you'll have no problem finishing it off. Uh, the, the feathers in the back are gorgeous already. Uh, the head is going to work, working really well. You're, I can only really feel the, the water. So, uh, okay, we're going to, she's off the island. We will go back to me. Uh, we're not going to talk to her anymore. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next week, next week, we're going to keep going with this bright, dark, uh, bright versus dark, uh, contrasty theme. We'll be doing a, uh, winter scene yay winter scene winter landscape uh so i gotta i'll dig one up and uh, we'll have some fun with that um and then after that we got a few other things coming down the, the road to do uh, uh i've got some people ones and some other 
animal ones maybe you never know we get lucky we can do another well we got another animal. this is an animal so we're all done eight, you know eight weeks of just landscapes and waterscapes boats i got some boats i wanted to do so we gotta have some fun and you guys also like i said if you want something you want to paint something if it's good send it in to me and uh if i think i can uh, get a class out of it you know you know teach something there's something in there I, that's really teachable uh you know, I always like to shove that in there and, you know, you know, help everybody out. But uh, that's it for today. So far, I will we'll be finishing this one up tomorrow. Got a lot of work to do on this one. I, I thought it was easy. I thought it was going to be really easy. Uh, and some of you guys really nailed it. I mean, uh, Eva, yours was fabulous. I mean, all, all you guys is like. I got I to gotta catch up. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a good one. Good rest of your evening. Go see the see who's winning the football game. Who's playing? And, um, huh? Who's Michigan, playing? Michigan, Washington. Yeah, Michigan and Washington are playing for the national championship today. Oh. So uh, <laughs> that's why you guys are here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> What did, the bears, did, did the Bears win yesterday or lose? They lost. Oh, always. <laughs> always. Anyway. <laughs> okay, guys. We'll see you guys <laughs> later. You guys Bye. have a good week. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.